Hey, what's going on? Uh, thanks for checking out the video this weekend. Uh, right now I'm on my way over. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, what's going on? Thanks for checking out the video this weekend. Uh, right now I'm on my way over to my dad's house to check out his Infinity uh, G35. It's a 2006 model. Um, I think I've had it on the channel once. Yeah, I think I have one video on it where I rebuilt the whole front end. So if you haven't seen that, uh, check that out. Um, right now the check engine light's on. I don't remember what the code is. Uh, it'll be in the thumbnail in the description what the code is. But it has something to do with the cam sensor on the uh, passenger side. I got the cam sensor. I'm on my way over there. I'm going to go ahead and just swap it out real quick and uh, throw the scanner on it. And he's also been complaining about some type of vibration coming out of the back. So, go ahead and check that out. Go drive it around for a minute and see what he's talking about. As far as the cam sensor code, um, from what he told me is, is that the car keeps dying on him, which um, when the passenger side cam sensor it takes a dump, the car will die and you get a traction light and you get a, it just keep dying on them or keep dying on you. So go check it out real quick. It is a super easy, you know, swap uh, as far as the sensor goes. Uh, uh, from what I can remember, the little connector might be a little bit tricky because it has the old school Nissan uh, connectors, which are pieces of shit. I don't know why Nissan decided to make connectors like they do back then, but I'm glad they've kind of gone away from it. But we'll, uh, Go check that out. Um, God damn, some big rocks in the street. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, it's a P0340. Camshaft position A, circuit bank one. Okay. So I'll go ahead and show you. Okay, so this is the cam sensor, bank one. Okay, and uh, so it's going to be one 10 millimeter bolt. And then here's you know Nissan's early or Infinity's early uh, style of clips. They make some of the most fucked up clips, especially if you're trying to get back behind the engine somewhere or something like that. They make the most fucked. They used to be even more fucked up than this. Okay, but uh, they've kind of gone away from it a little bit, but. Yeah, this is going to be plugged into the head um, on the passenger side. And to unplug it, you know, most plugs you're going to push down and then pull out. Um, like on a clip thing with this goddamn thing. If you didn't know how it worked, you'll sit there and fight with it all day long. But all you got to do is push this piece. Okay. And then you hear it clip. And then you can pull it apart. All right. Now, if you didn't know that, you'd be fucking, I mean, you really can't see it too well, you'd be messing with it all day long. So, this little tip right there, I'm gonna go ahead and swap this bastard out. It'll be easier to remove the shield, 10, 10, ugh, 10 millimeter bolts, nuts, take those four out, pull the shield off. Mr. Sensor is back here. Yeah. So that's it right there, that dirty looking guy right there, and that's it. This is an 06, and the connector is different than an 03. That connector I showed you was actually from an 03. An 06, all you have to do is push down the tab and pull it out. So, uh, Nissan figured out that their technicians um, were having a hard time with their connectors. So, they, you know, years and years down the road, they're just eliminating all these really fucking retarded 
connectors. Ratchet wrench would work good. So, a little ratchet wrench. Again, I'll leave a link down in the description box for the part number and all the information on the sensor. But what you want to do is you want to make sure that the little O-ring is in good shape. Okay, let's go drop this one in. back on go clear the code and go drive around all right well it started up a whole lot better than uh, than it did in the past I guess it used to start up pretty bad um, it used to die pretty quickly and um, it's, uh, it's actually driving pretty good right now uh, the check engine lights still on I haven't cleared it yet I'll clear it here in a minute I'm gonna go drive it around and uh, I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna go get on the freeway because my dad was complaining that it had some type of crazy vibration on the highway. So I can't really feel it driving around in the neighborhood. But uh, yeah, I think uh, as far as the camp sensor goes, uh, the problem has been corrected. Just need to clear the code. And uh, off to the next thing. Um, if you made it this far in the video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you know, just you know where to leave them. And, uh, yeah, um, once I figure out what's going on with the rear end of this thing, I'm going to make another video on that. So, uh, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you, uh, if you want to check that out. And, uh, you guys take care, be safe, have a great weekend.
later.